I got a call from Laura Danley, who's the curator at the Griffith Observatory, and she was looking for a composer for her newest show called Time's Up. The fact that it's Griffith Observatory, and it is a Los Angeles icon and certainly part of the Hollywood landscape, we wanted to keep the music feeling like it was Hollywood film score type music. We were discussing things like the space-time continuum and the fabric of space and his historical elements, ancient Mayan traditions and calendars and things like that. You know, I would try to lead the conversations back to things about emotion and about musicality and, and what, what do we want the people to feel. So it was sort of this wonderful mix of really intelligent discussion and really emotional discussion that sort of led us to the style for the show. The way that I created the music would be the same way that I would do it if I were writing on score paper. I mean, everything was done just in the most traditional way in terms of like the orchestration and the arrangements and, and the approach so that it could go right into the concert hall and you would the experience you would have in the concert hall listening to it live would be the same experience that you would have listening to it in the planetarium. The music really was there to service the script and service the visuals and service the, service the story more than anything else and really provide a framework so that you could so that the music could lead you on the journey through the script and through the visuals and provide some continuity throughout the 30 minutes or so that you're going to be going on this uh, journey and having this experience in the planetarium. <laughs>